Hey guys, Phantom Light 22 here, and this is another part to Let's Play Rune Factory, Rune Factory Frontier, part 29, I think. Well, uh, I think. Anyway, while uh, playing this game, another event is happening. One of an important event to Eunice. She's asking me an important question. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Did, could you repeat that? Do you prefer thinner girls? Ooh, this is a tough one. Now this is if this is very very important. Very important. Now I'm gonna say yeah, I prefer thinner girls. Whoa, no, it's just it's not it's just a personal preference, and I know there are plenty of people who would disagree with me. It's okay, I'll try my best. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> I feel like such an idiot right now. I just insulted her. At least I feel like I insulted her. Okay, that event right there. Two things. That event right there was um, was important to Eunice because Eunice. Uh, remember when I? Ugh. That part is important because when you, I think when you get Eunice's heart to, I think at four hearts or five LP or heart love points. She will ask you a very important question. Like do you this. prefer thinner girls? If you say you do, she's starting the next day. She's gonna go. On, she's going to start her diet, and that means no sweets. You cannot give her cake. You cannot give her strawberry. No, you have. You can give her vegetables, but while she's on a diet, which will take about a good two seasons, I think. Yeah, it'll take like like half a year, like half like two seasons before she. I think. I don't remember. But I think it takes two seasons before you realize that she's, you know, getting thinner. But, um, it takes two seasons, and you basically have to give her vegetables or anything that's, uh, anything else other than fish and sweets. If you said you don't really care, she'll stay, you know, chubby. And the funny thing is, there are two different versions of Eunice, in her chubby form and in her thin form. But just so you know, once she goes into her thin form, there's no way for her to go back to being chubby again. Unless you start over, but... You know, there's thin Eunice and chubby Eunice, but that's up to you. Because I mean, it's not that important. But I mean, if you just want to get close to Eunice, whether she's chubby or thin, you know, just well, if you want her to get closer without her being thin, just say it doesn't matter. And then after that, you know, she'll stay chubby. Well, I already explained it. Another thing is, you probably noticed that uh, Raguna is wearing a headdress. And yes, I know I'm talking to Kano about the uh, about. The Rooney's disappearing, and the, the Rooney and the Whale Island shrinking, and all that. That's what you need to unlock that door, or to go through that door. And he wants a thick stick, but I'll give it to him some other time. But uh, you're probably noticing why that Raguna has a headdress on his head, which looks absolutely stupid. It looks very stupid on him. I made that for him off camera because I needed better defense than the cat's ear. Because trust me, I want to start leveling up some more, but I need a better defense, because I have the wind cave, but I felt the cat ears weren't enough, because I was still taking a lot of damage. But I needed something, so I just went ahead and made the headdress. But again, the headdress and tiara make Raguna look so stupid. It's beautiful on the girls, but terrible on Raguna. So that's just a cross dress right there, and sorry if I'm going the right... I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I'm going the wrong way. Uh... I was watching, I was playing the game from, from, come on Steve, uh, I was playing the game while sitting down on the floor, and when I sit down on the floor, the TV gets dark from my, from that point of view, and I wasn't paying attention to where I was going, I had to like sit up a little bit, or stand up, in order to see where I was going, like I had to literally, like stand up and get a better view and brighter, better and brighter view to know where to go. You can't see it because the capture card, you know, clearly captured everything and, and made the lighting better. But on my TV, I love the brightness because, you know, because of the, because of an old TV that burned out because of brightness. It's a habit. Anyway, I'm gonna try and see how how much I can do on Whale Island. I'm gonna see how how much I can do and how far I can go. Alright, I'm going to take out my trusty super sickle. It is 9 p.m. Alright, so I'm not going to fight the two ogres. Usually I would come here to fight them alone, but they were they were hitting me way too hard. Ooh. Oh, I forgot I, I can paralyze enemies. Yeah, see, this is a lot better. When I uh, t 
tried to take them out off camera, uh, I barely did any damage, and they like two hit me, I think, and I was not prepared. I was like, this will not work. Hmm, these enemies drop drop cheap cloths, so you don't have to go for uh, you don't have to grind from the goblins, but you know, the goblins are easier because you don't have to worry about getting KO'd. Because you're practically invincible. They still, they do only one damage to you, but you're practically invincible. <laughs> These little, uh, ghost enemies, they're, they still kind of hurt. <laughs> hey, would you look at that? Level up. Yeah, sorry, that's just what I'm going to do every time I, not every time, but when I see a level up. And I'm gonna pick these up because I really want to collect these grasses. They're perfect for medicine. Don't forget too. They're uh, don't forget too the medicine grind. I think I already mentioned it in the lab or in the previous video about you know how to how to do a little lab. Well, I'll probably just show you later in the videos. But for now, I do want to have a lot of these grasses because I you know I feel like I need them. So how have you guys been? Today is. February the 3rd, but it's gonna be, but it, it's February the 3rd, it's 10.42, and then about a couple more hours, it'll be mid past midnight, it'll be February the 4th. Nothing much going on at the moment, still cold, gonna get colder, because it was warmer like last month, but you know, then it went back down to being cold. Had a, we had a, it was a weird winter. <laughs> Oh, solid point. Thanks, dude. Or Archer. Let's go down here and see what's, what we can find down here. Oh, these guys. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 oh. They, oh, the, okay, okay. Oh, those wind ones hurt. Oh, I see. So the earth enemies, these earth magician things drop the thick stick. Okay. And they drop quality claws, okay. And a wind crystal. So you could grind here for all three of them if you want to. Earlier, I, I forgot where to get wind crystals. There you go. These monsters drop it. Just grind here and keep knocking them out. Just watch out from. Just make yourself magic resistant, though. You should be okay. Because, I mean, all three ingredients the quality cloth, thick stick, and the wind crystal. Right here in that one spot. These enemies aren't hard, and I didn't. I actually did not mean to pick that up. That was that was out of habit. I thought it was something really good. Hard horn's not that good. Ugh, I don't want a thin stick, but I'll pick it up anyway. Okay, these guys are bad. Oh, I'm stunned. Come on, move. It's kind of funny because one of the enemies, I think one of them, the wind enemy, hurts me. While the other one, yeah, it does only one damage. But they do stun me, though, which is awkward. So yeah, this one has to go down, but these enemies here, which were in the lava ruins, they barely hurt. Oh, they drop quality cloth. I didn't notice that. Yeah, I'm gonna heal, because I don't... I feel... A little nervous walking around with this much, with this low health. I'm trying not to use too much of my healing items because I'm, I'm trying to focus on leveling up. Because every time you level up, your HP and rune points re uh, fully recover. Oh, these oh mushrooms. Okay. I remember these guys from the first dungeon. Uh, if I recall, like I, they. Okay, I'm okay. I was gonna say if. I don't know what happened for a split second. My uh, my heads, my PlayStation 3 headset kind of turned off and turned back on for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, it, there's no red light indicating it's low, but it just kind of turned off and turned back on. But I'm gonna have to check the mic and make sure it didn't desync or anything. 
And I've been fatigued, great. Oh, we got fairies now. I think these are different fairies though. Because the ones at the entrance weren't too bad. I'm gonna just take you out. What's, what's uh, anything good in here? Uh, antidote herd. Whatever. I don't think I'll get poison. I need. Hey, fairy dust. Yes. I need. I could use this. Uh oh. They home in on you? Oh no. This is gonna be bad. No, 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 no. Come here. No, no, no. Oh, I'm wrong button. Skill up. Oh, oh my goodness. Don't home in on me. Don't home in on me. Oh, I missed him. Okay, I'm trying to get this fair without dying. Or KO getting knocked out. Okay. I'll take another fairy dust. Thank you. I'm hoping that I'm close to leveling up. I want to heal, but I want to... Okay, okay, okay. This is bad. This is really bad. Um, uh, no. No. Why did I move that way? Oh, why did I do that? Okay, I'll admit, that was that was a very poor choice right there. I did not mean to go left. I was hoping I could run. I was going to run to the right, but I was scared it was going to home in on me. And Laura's mad at me again. No cold, but I do feel cold inside for messing up. Not, not really. See, look, I was close to leveling up. I could. All I had to do was knock out a few. I bet you if I took out those portals, I probably could have leveled up. Because I wanted to just hit the fairies with my spin attack, but I didn't think that my range would be close enough. I didn't think I could get them from that, from this range. Because they're so small, it's kind of hard to see how close you are. You have to be very close to hurt them, because they're super small. Well, whatever. I'm not gonna let it get to me. Good morning. I made up my mind. I'm going to go on a diet to get thinner. Oh, I, they don't talk. I forgot. Nah. I don't know why they. I, you know, it's kind of weird of why they know. would actually give you how they would give you uh decisions like you encouraged her to be to lose weight and then you tell her don't don't be silly that's like an insult is this i don't know why funny? they made raguna like this is kind of what Thank kills you. the game like what's the point of you doing what's the point of you being mean like you know it makes you think that the main character is, is you on 17th of autumn. it's the season when everything tastes good it makes the character uh, look terrible Oh, yeah, see, uh, I don't know, if, well, you'll see later, but, yeah, Eunice says she's gonna try and lose weight, so. Okay, I'm just keeping an eye on something, alright. But yeah, Lunas, Lunas, oh my goodness, Eunice says she'll just lose weight, so. Basically, we can just say good luck and hope for the best. I don't know, anyway, I don't know why the heck they would give you, like, Questions. It's like with this is how Paper Mario was annoying to me, because you can make Mario do bad things by not by not being a hero, saying I don't want to. Like why? Okay, why would Mario himself wouldn't say that? He's supposed to be like Kirby. He's eager to save the world. What's the point of putting that in for the character who already has a role of being a hero? It's supposed to be put in if you decide to be a hero, a lazy whatever, or a villain. I don't know, I just feel like that, they, they, I wish they would only put it in certain games, not all games like this one. But obviously, if you say you can't be serious, you would make her upset, and then you would lower the friendship. Like, it's pointless to have, because what's the, po what's the point of lowering or being mean to the village? Otherwise, it's like with Mega Man Legends, if you become mean to everyone or a jerk, they will ha they won't, they'll say mean things about you and have the price insanely high. And the only so-called reason you want to be bad is to use hidden weapons, or certain weapons. Other than that, it doesn't really affect the story, because it's just them being mean to Mega Man, or to you as the player, because you chose to. It's annoying. It just doesn't have a f it just doesn't have a purpose, and that's kind of how I feel about about uh. That's how I f feel about you know when you, when Raguna is given the 
bad choice. It's really annoying. Sorry for talk. I don't know if you, if Uzuki was talking there, but you know that's just how I felt. But yeah, that was an important event. Uh, that's part of Eunice's event right there, because she, you know she's getting there. That cake really helped, but now we just have to hold back on cake and just give her carrots and vegetables while she's losing weight, which is okay. But we can still give cake to Lara. Oh hey, uh, Annette. How you doing? Last episode, you collapsed in front of my house. Huh? It's for me? Thanks. And of course, your animation looked weird, because when the game loaded up, you looked like you were standing, and then you were instantly put down on the bed. So cold, Animations are so funny, because of how people animate night. the characters. Like, I mean, I know for the fact that they stand in a model, a model pose, so you can, uh... So you can, like... Oops. I didn't mean to do that. So you can, like you know, see how you want them to react when they talk to people, when they interact with an enemy. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, see, this is how the Ragunia should act. I, don't, I mean, why the heck would they give you an option for Ragunia to be a jerk? A terrible Raguna. That's what's... I remember someone made a video called Terrible Raguna. Like, Raguna wouldn't do that for real. I mean, it would make sense if you were playing as an Avatar character, but not as the actual character that's supposed to be the role, which I already mentioned, so I'm not gonna repeat it. But as I said, now that Annette lives here, she'll be easy to talk to, so if you miss her in the morning, just talk to her in the afternoon or evening before she goes to sleep. Alright, we're back on Whale Island. We are back. Let's, let's see, I think I got... I got KO'd by the fairies last time. And yes, I did level up already, so... No need to... No need to basically show that off. And I keep forgetting, there is no... The path is broken over there. I don't know who would be crazy enough to want to plant crops in this area to deal, and deal with the monsters. And plus, do they have to come back here almost every day? What would have been cool is that if, if, is if there were monsters that could do them for you. That would make sense of why you would come back here, just to check on them. But why would you come back here all, these, all this time just to so-called take care of your crops? I'm surprised that none of that hit me. That was weird. Let's see, we got a red grass. More blue. And yellow. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up a mushroom to save myself the trouble of buying it. Cause I feel like when I- I need to start making more food so I don't have to keep bringing potions. Like, I wanna bring potions for healing my HP and food to heal HP and, uh, ruin points. Cause I mean, I know you, you're okay with ruin points when you, as you practice, but you can never be too careful. We got a different type of bird and a buffalo, or this buffalo, and you come back and get bird right? Yeah! That was a weird death in That was a weird death animation and ow my ears. Just as I'm talking, I just finished uh, saving or uh, producing an edited video. Oh, you still kinda hurt. Goodbye, Buffalo. Oh my goodness. I'm kinda nervous. I don't want to heal. Well, I should heal, but I don't want to use up my potion. Oh, it's a Minotaur. Minotaur. Oh! He almost got me. I want to hit- Okay, wait, 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 he's gonna do that. Okay, I should've gone in for the- Oh my goodness, that was so close. Level up! I actually cannot believe I survived that. Uh, I'm not- I'm gonna go up there later. I'm gonna go- I'm gonna, uh, look around for any mysterious things. I've actually been around with I a lot off cam- Well, not a lot, but a few times off camera. Just to grind. I may come here once after exploring the snow ruins, just to show what you know, what the, what what there is to see. And sorry, I burped. Hope you didn't hear that. Sorry. But yeah, this is the perfect place to grind. In fact, uh, I think the minotaurs are like the only things that would help you level up quicker. Because on my first file, the one that's blind, where I think I have at least everything I believe is done, except for the Brodock Broda fight, which I don't know if I'm going to show off. I have to actually look that up, though, how to activate the Brodock fight. And even if I do activate it, I don't know if I'm going to show it, because I heard that he's very difficult, unless you have very, very good 
Oh my goodness, dude, you- I'm sick and tired of you hitting me. Go away. Well, I just leveled up, so I know I need to heal. Hmm, that treasure just looks- It's a mimic. That's a mimic. That's a mimic. Watch this. I knew it. I knew it. Stupid mimic. I was trying to hit it, too, but I somehow missed it. I knew that was a mimic. You know how you can tell when you try to look, examine the treasure chest, and you notice that it, it doesn't say look? It's a mimic. I was getting ready to, you can actually hurt it before it attacks you, but I wasn't that close. I really should heal here, but... Hmm. I have a lot of stuff, too. I, I'll be fine. Hmm. Yeah, see, I'm only like halfway with experience. Alright, well, I drank the little potion just to save myself, because there's no way I could enter with this much health. Wait, who's in here? Oh, a fairy in, the, in a. In a oh, 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 okay, okay, I should have healed more. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no! I sort of question that. How did the wolf hit me? Did he charge me? Or right, maybe he did his like like his little A attack. Yeah, we're not gonna let. We're not, I don't need to show off Laura's insult this time. Then I have two chocolate cakes, but they're both for her because Eunice is on a diet. Oh, I love this. Thank you. May I help you? Good morning. Hmm. Oh, I thought this was the part. Not yet. Okay. May I help you? <laughs> My pen is somewhere that's much colder than the kingdom of Norad. Sorry about the yawning. It seems every time I talk, if I talk too much, I tire myself out. I guess I'm not much of a talker. Let's plays are really challenging for me because you got to think of what to say. Welcome. What will you have? Also, as I point out in my pure previous two videos, this is what I'm gonna do. Thank you very much. Now, this one is that what I just did. There wasn't really smart because it's a lot better if you bought the antidote and Paragon, because I you're basically paying 260 gold for each po energy drink, right? But instead of paying 260, you pay only 220. Because if you buy 10 antidote herbs and 10 paragons, you can make them into an energy drink and make 10. So that means buying 10 of each means making 10 and it saves you a little bit more money. But I wasn't thinking at that time and it hit me later that I was supposed to buy the antidote herb and paragon. So don't do what I did, just buy the antidote and paragon. This will really help up your lab. And then what's really cool is that after you uh, make all your... Because if you combine energy drink with another energy drink, you make an E drink S. But there's a better po a better potion like that, and it's called the E drinks X, as an extreme. Now remember when I said to stack up on white grass, uh, or you know how I said white grass and black grass? Well, the black grass not yet, but don't you do not use up all your black grass. But if you have two E drink S's and white grass, you can make an E drink X. But if I recall though, it's on, I, for, I think it's on level, like level uh, 50 or 60, I can't remember, but it's pretty high. So you want to make sure that you're ready, make sure that you're ready to, uh, make sure, at least make sure you're a high enough level. If not, just keep spamming, or not spamming, but keep buying the antidote and paragon, her, uh, antidote, herb and paragon. And, Paralysis gone medicine and keep making energy drink and then turn the energy drink into E drink S and then just keep doing that until you're at least close enough. That way you don't have to like, you know, worry so much because basically the antidote herb and, and, uh, you know, the antidote herb and paragon are cheaper than the actual energy drink so it makes better sense, right? And I'm just talking to Annette, you know, because she's having her little moment. Because she's a little embarrassed and annoyed that she collapsed in front of our house.
<laughs> well, as of now, though, she's trying to hide the fact that she's bothered by something. Don't worry about me. I guess maybe she'll talk to us as, as we get close. Plus, to you, uh, my f I'm wearing the fluffy hat instead of the headdress. The headdress is still with me or in the invent the inventory, but well, I just couldn't get over how ridiculous Ragunia looks. He looks better with the fluffy hat than the than the stinking headdress. I might give the headdress to someone. Also, do tell me in the comments if you guys want to, but do tell me if there's a certain accessory you want me to give to a girl. Because I can make an accessory or a gift, well, an accessory basically, and give it to a girl. Like, is there a specific girl? Do you want the girl to wear a specific outfit to make her look beautiful? Just don't ask me to give it to Bianca because Bianca won't take it. Bianca's the Bianca 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 no my goodness Bianca is the only girl who will not take uh, accessories I think though Tabitha could take them but I don't know if she's gonna wear them but I think every girl minus Bianca will wear them but I haven't tested on Tabitha but I know the fact that every other girl is gonna wear them <sighs> it's kind of funny only the girls will wear your artifacts the ma the villagers won't wear anything like I gave a uh, uh, cross off camera the those gauntlets I think I thought it would look good on him he never wore them he just took it and just that was it, it it's kind of disappointing I mean it's it's fine though if you have a uh, it's fine if you only have the maidens if you're only trying to go after the maidens but come on the villagers themselves there's no, what's wrong with giving them uh, oh what this isn't good. Even the readings of the base experimental facility are dropping fast. Not good. The readings of the cyrogenetic facility are below critical, sir. Release the ruins from the backup units. Hurry. We already are. The readings are still dropping. At this rate... Don't look at me like that. There's nothing to worry about, okay? Are you sure? Just be the innocent self you always have been. Because if you don't... What? Why in the world are the ruins diminishing for no apparent reason? At this rate, this plot of land will die and people will no longer be able to live here. No, this is bigger than that. If this phenomenon spreads, ruins will completely disappear from the world. When that happens... Okay, that part remind me a lot of, uh, that remind me a lot of, um, Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of a New World, where they, well, Tales of, Tales of, the, some of the Tales of series where they rely on this energy that the planet needs to survive, and in the beginning, the planet never received that energy. Oh, I forgot, I was paying attention. Do you, do you guys realize at the top, it shows a, it shows, uh, snow, snowdrops right there. It is blizzarding outside. Just like in Harvest Moon, like a typhoon, or like the, uh, yeah, like the typhoon or storm in the summertime, the blizzard, the winter has a blizzard time to where it prevents you from going outside. So anything we, any, anything that you're supposed to water or do is canceled because you can't go outside when it is like this. It's kind of funny that in some Harvest Moon games, you can go outside when it's storming, but in a few, they prevent you. I guess the fact is, between going outside, like, th it probably would make things a lot difficult, because if you did go outside in a storm in real life, you have a risk of getting electrocuted, or worse, because of the storm or lightning. In a video game, though, maybe if you went outside in a storm, you would get sick quickly, or you would... Your uh yeah, you probably would get sick or low or your resistance would go down to where you could get sick the next day. At least I'm assuming that's what could happen if you want to add some kind of challenge to the game. Eh, but that's just me. I don't, you know, speaking of Harvest Moon, I think this month, I forgot what day, there's supposed to be a new Harvest Moon coming out. Well actually it's called Story of Seasons. Harvest Moon, last year in November, Harvest Moon Sky Tree City or Sky Tree Town came out on Nintendo 3DS, and now there's another Story of Seasons coming out, produced by XC, the same company who made Story of Seasons for the, f the first one. Uh, I forgot what day, but I think it's supposed to come out sometime in the late, late day of February, but it's called Trio of Towns. 
I wonder what you're gonna and I saw a little bit of it in the past where you could actually dress up like a few of the Nintendo characters. So I'm curious to see how this is gonna go. Cause I have story of season one, but unfortunately I have not I have not uh beaten it yet because I've been playing Sma I've been training my amiibos on the on the three DS and Wii U. I don't know why, I kind of find it weird, but when you're trying to train your amiibos on both systems at a time, because I actually tried to double train them, it doesn't work like that. If you try to double train your amiibos, it won't work. Um, because it's only going to take a one data, and it'll take like a, some hours before you, uh... Oh yeah, I just made the... F I just turned my average fishing pole into the famous fishing pole, so it's, it's stronger. And I'm gonna I wanna increase its level, so I'm gonna add scrap iron to this. There we go, level three. I don't think it'll go any higher than three. So yeah. Next up, we're going to make the shiny hoe. Because it was just a I think it was just a good or average, but now it's a shiny. Now I'm not gonna lie, the hoe is actually just disappointing for me. Because the first one just make, gives you only one square, the second upgrade gives you three s triple square, and this one gives you like nine squares at, at a time. I actually, um, you know, tested it like much later in the in the game. I wasn't that impressed because between how much water, how much space you uh, take when you water with the rainbow can, and how much you uh, you take or use with the super sickle. I'm not that impressed with the shiny hoe. I'm not that impressed. Oh, whatever. checking something actually because like I said I'm just making sure everything is done for today so I can just get get going and getting I can go and get ready tomorrow actually that that's the end of this video gotta go bye <laughs>